And we're back. The Gloria Barron Prize for Young Heroes is a national award that celebrates inspiring young people across the country and Canada. And 25 uh, young leaders are chosen each and every year. Mm -hmm. And this year, one of the winners is a 16-year-old from Pearland who's transforming school lunch programs. That's right. We're going to welcome our buddy Rahul Vijayan, who's joining us this morning, and he's brought a, an item with him. Rahul, how you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks how for coming you? in today. How are you guys doing? We are great. Doing wonderful. We are great. So can you tell us a little bit more about this school lunch program? Yeah, basically, um, during COVID, I started my nonprofit, Farm to Tray. And what we do is we're trying to accelerate hydroponic adoption in schools across the nation. And hydroponics, it's a method of growing plants without using any soil, using 90% less water and 40% less space. So we can grow plants like tomatoes, basil, mints, and we grow these in schools, and we can utilize this produce to help supplement school lunches. So I feel like there's a couple of things going on here. One is yeah. the nutrition, mm -hmm. but then there's education, right? Yeah, my project, it tackles twofold. Um, one being the uh, nutrition, as I mentioned, but the second thing is education. We use hydroponics to teach a variety of STEM concepts. Um, in my high school, Shatter Creek High School, we use it in AP and environmental science classes to teach plant cycles, photosynthesis, and just other STEM concepts. But for younger students, um, I have a hydroponic grow kit here, which um, it introduces hydroponic growing to these young students and really teaches them. How about. young are we talking? Uh, elementary students to middle school is what this is primarily focused at. And then I have another system in my high school, which you can grow larger plants like tomatoes and basils, and that is for high school students. Oh, wow. So how did you pick the hydroponic plants to be your your niche. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, during COVID I was volunteering with my brother's nonprofit, uh, Teens for Help, and we came across a uh, company, a local hydroponic vendor, Moonflower Farms, and I toured their facility and I quickly became in love with hydroponics. Uh, I had never seen anything like it. And, and that's where you first learned about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then talking to the CEO, Federico, we quickly came together and realized that it could actually help school lunches, and then since then I created my nonprofit and we've been growing since then. How many of uh, those trays have you, have you distributed, do you think? Um, I would say probably around 200 uh, hydroponic grow kits to 55 schools across five different states. Show it to the camera there, hold it up there, and you can see, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you say this is kind of like a Chia Pet, people that might remember that, basically yeah. what, you just add water and you put it in the water sun, sunshine or what? Yeah, you just add water, just shade from a normal room, we'll let it grow, and within 10 days you'll have kind of like a chia pet of, <laughs> this is micro arugula, but you can have radish, broccoli, mm -hmm. and a multi What's plants. the significance of micro versus, um, I mean, is it just space, simply? Yeah, because it's a small system here, we can't grow the full length, um, mm -hmm. because, you know, it doesn't have enough for the roots and anything, so. So it'll, uh, the, the smaller the, the tray or the growing area will limit the growth yeah, of, the, so of the plant itself. This won't grow as big as um, a normal arugula plant, but it's good enough to eat and still is nutritious and still is fun to watch. Interesting. So you were also selected to be a young hero. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? What does that mean to you? Yeah, no, it's, it's really inspiring to be um, part of that uh, selective group and um, you know, seeing the stories and the mission of Gloria Barron and how they're trying to promote and environmental advocacy, literacy, and humanitarian efforts. It's, it's truly humbling and inspiring to be part of that community. So when the, when the schools get these trays, what do they typically do with them? Um, these are used um, for learning. So these can introduce hydroponics to young students and teachers, and you know they can use it in a variety of labs. And so is that you going around school to school? You, you, you do some teaching yourself a little yeah, bit? Yeah, this was me right? uh, visiting um, my old uh, elementary school and I was teaching hydroponics to these students and um, yeah this is so inspiring to see how fascinated these young students are by uh, how plants can grow at that soil and how fast they can grow. Yeah I would I'd like to go back to that for a second because I, I think the, high, the idea of hydroponic gardening is just interesting by yeah. itself mm -hmm, I yeah. mean we think about okay you put you put a seed in the dirt and it grows but you don't need dirt. Yeah. And that's just a wild concept, I think, to a lot of people. Yeah. Is it more efficient? Is it like, like what are the benefits of, of hydroponic? Growing? Yeah, th there's a lot of benefits. Um, one being it can be grown anywhere. Uh, it's actually being grown in space right now. Um, that's why I, the company I partner with, Moonflower Firms, they want to put flowers on the moon. Um, so uh, one of the, I, I worked with um, people from NASA, a local astronaut, and he actually took photos of him in the International Space Station with hydroponics. and. There go peppers and basils up in up in space. So that's one benefit. But also, it's um, you know, 
using zero soil, we're um, facing soil degradation as a nation because of over farming. And so this is a solution to that. I think we don't have very many harvests left in our earth. Um, so we need to find a solution to that. And, and it makes growing uh, more, accessible, more accessible probably to more people. I mean, how often, it's not like you have big farms in the cities. Yeah, that, that's another aspect of it. Uh, this can be run vertically in cities. And so that's what we're trying to target, food deserts and um, uh, lack of fresh food in yeah. cities. Yeah, important. Um, what, do you, what are you gonna do with food to tray? Like, where does this go from here? How big do you wanna get? Yeah, I, I, my overall goal is to have every school across the nation utilize hydroponic infrastructure in some form or fashion. And so I'm doing that by currently pairing up with other hydroponic organizations across the nation. And I'm hoping to work with the USDA one day to make a nationwide uh, policy change. All right. Well, you said you're 16? Uh, 55 schools. No, no uh, how old are you? you oh, said I'm you're, 16, yes. You're 16, yes. going on 17, already a senior in high school, making quick work in high school. Where you, do you know what, you're going to go to school one day in college and study? Do you want to be a doctor, a lawyer? What do you want to do with yourself? Um, I'm looking into business and finance, but I'm not sure what school yet. So okay. yeah. you That's ways amazing. To go. I hate you're... to put you on the spot. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Any school will be lucky to have you. Thank you. Well, good luck with food to tray. Um, I hope this really works out. And I understand a lot of children have benefited, it, benefited from it already. So good luck to you. Thank you so much. Rahul Vijayan, did I say it right? Yes. Thank you, my friend. Nice to meet you. And uh, his mom's over here too, so we'll have to get a family picture before you guys leave. Good luck.